like I don't like to say this is the best or final version because every single day we practice we were trying to 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 get to a better level right but we have to keep making adjustment adjustment we have to keep making some changes here and there but other than that I think we, we are in a pretty good shape Hey guys, this is Pedro back with another interview covering VCT America Stage 1. This time I'm accompanied by Sadak, the IGO of Loud World, coming off of a 2-0 win over Sentinels in Week 4. So, Sadak, thank you so much for taking the time doing this interview, like I said before. And yeah, a pretty good way to bounce back, you know, after uh, going winless the, the entire stage so far. And so, taking down Sentinels, you know, what's the feeling like for you right now? Um... It feels amazing. We, I think we are 2-2. Two, two. Like, we won twice, and they, they won twice against us. Uh, they, for sure, are an amazing team. Uh, it feels feels amazing to play against them, always. Yeah, and as I said before, you know, it, first win of the stage, doing so against Sentinels, but more so just looking at how the team was approaching this this encounter, you know, after uh, Super Week. What was the, the, the main uh, thing that that this team was focusing on ahead of this encounter against Sentinels, and how did that play? How did that plan then played out when the series happened? Um, so coming into the Super Week, we we had a a really good uh, preparation. I would say we we practiced for two two weeks nonstop. But the thing is, like none of none of our game plans were working, or if they were working, we were being unlucky sometimes. So. Yeah, I mean, it happens, and we just bounce back every single time. We keep, we're gonna keep trying, as you as you just saw against Sentinels. Like for us, it's always like keep keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. You know. What do you think? Well, I mean, looking at the at the series overall, you know, of course, Loud started off very well. Uh, first half on attacking side on Lotus Sentinels map pick. and it was a momentum that just kind of never went away from your possession. And so, you know, what about um, uh, uh, the, what do you think was the biggest challenge that Sentinels showed against you guys in that series in Lotus and then later on in Icebox? Um, I think we they had great moments for sure. I think the, the, the players that can, they, they have players that can bring back a, a round which seems lost and they somehow managed to, to bring back, like for example, the pistol we had against them, they, I think we we got one v three. So it's always like it's always hard to play them because you know they're never gonna keep trying. You know, like they're not gonna give up. So uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think we we just did our our, our game and it worked out worked out really well. And yeah, uh, there was a, a little bit of a, of a conversation or more so an interview that um, STK did, you know, during the actual series and how um, it, 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 it gave the sense that the real version of Loud w was returning, you know, the real version of Loud is back. Did you kind of ha have that kind of sensations, that feeling that, you know, this team was now getting on that road to just being good as it was uh, earlier in the year? Um, I think this is a different team for sure from the beginning of the year. We we got a, we got more experience. We we've been through so much together, uh, the goods and bads, of course. Um, yeah, I I, I, won't, I like I don't like to say this is the best or final version because every single day we practice, we were trying to 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 get to a better level, right? But I would say right now, I think we are we are really good. We have to keep making adjustment adjustment. We have to keep making some changes here and there. But other than that, I think we we are in a pretty good shape. Yeah, and as you said, and as I've been covering this team so far in this stage, it's been a, a pretty rough process, you know, for this team having to arrive in Los Angeles very late compared to the rest uh, of uh, of the other uh, teams in this league. You already talked about it a little bit uh, in your videos on Twitter and no, but still going into that kind of process uh, for you guys to just try to recover and catch up to the same speed as the rest of the teams in the league. What do you think was the one thing that, kind, that you uh, focused on primarily just to make that happen and just to, to 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 improve to what you guys showed today. I think my primary um, 
role as a leader is showing the guys that it's never over, you know, like we can bounce back, we can keep practicing, even if we, we didn't win today, uh, we just have to keep practicing, you know, like winning is not about who, who just wins, but who tries the hardest, you know, like uh, losers or or people that don't get anywhere or anything are people that quit most of the time. And if you keep grinding and working hard and just uh, having your head low and just being humble, it's going to take you some, some places you, you never imagined, you know. Um, trying to give all of that to, to my players, uh, it's always a challenge and, and it's always fun, you know, because it's easy to do it while you're winning, but it's super hard to do it when, when you're not, right? So, yeah, I mean, I be, I particularly been been focused on that. Yeah, and in addition to just that kind of process, this that same time frame, you've also talked also at length about how you kind of changed your responsibilities within the team. You know, allowing the coaches and and, and you know people like STK and Peru to just uh, work more in strategizing the team and just and now you just you not having as much responsibility and just more you focusing on the team. You know, being a leader as you've been saying that that kind of thing. How has that uh, uh, dynamic kind of progressed from the time in which you, that uh, change was made up until now? And then in, in at the same time, what do you think has been the biggest points that the coaches have been sort of um, uh, focusing on more than the rest? So a couple of things then. Um, so me in particular, I've been feeling great. Like... Now I can play a little bit more of the game and I can uh, focus on what I super enjoy in the game. That is mid calls, uh, being an IGL, you know. Uh, yeah, we, I, I gave most responsibilities I have to the people that are going to help me do, it, do them. Like it, it didn't make sense for us to have a coach and not let them coach, you know. Uh, and it's been like, it's been a, a hell of a, a ride, as you would say, but like we're getting there. We we are discovering like how the team works, how they they work, how they like to work. Because the guys know how I do. Like the guys know how I I like to work. Right? How we have to adjust. They have amazing ideas. They have amazing game plans. Uh, this, for example, the game plan they have against uh, Sentinels was super solid today. So we're improving every single day. The thing is, people don't see that because we we don't show results. Uh, but at, but at the same time, like. We are practicing a lot, and we know what what is working. We just needed a little bit of luck here and there in some clutches, or bring some momentum to us in in just in some situations. But yeah, I mean, it's been it's been amazing. Kawan is also helping me in, in IGLing, so yeah, it's been it's been super nice. Do you feel like you're like you feel much better, you know, as as a player, you know, both mentally and also performance wise, you know, as a result of just having taken yes. this different direction, right? Yeah, a hundred percent. Like for me, I can, like I can start improving my mid round, which maybe you you saw in Lotus in, on attack was uh, our attack was super solid. Thanks for, for thanks to Kawan and, and me for mid mid round calling, uh, and I can like focus on my performance. I mean, you saw me doing some highlights here and there, which maybe in in other situations that wouldn't have happened, you know. Uh, and I want to show people like. We are we IGLs. We can frag. It's not like you're an IGL. You just use your brain. You don't shoot. No, you need to shoot back because people are shooting back at you, and you need to be able to kill them. You know, that's it's simply as that. But yeah, other than that, like it's going it's going great, and I'm, I'm super happy with my performance and the team's performance. Interesting that you brought up uh, Kawan Zine, just sort of now being the second uh, a caller within the team. If I remember correctly, I think back then it was less. You can correct me if I'm wrong, right there. But yeah. yeah, thank you so much. And how has that? How has you seen his progression? You know, in that new role for him. You know, within the team, just having to work off of you during matches. Um. Well, I think Kawan reminds me reminds of me reminds me of myself in some situations, and I think we we haven't been using him appropriately as a player. Like he's a really smart guy. He's a really communicative communicative guy but we haven't been exploring that up until the coaches like had the idea to do so like you see now he's he's not only IGLing at the beginning of the round but like he is um uh, he's fragging a lot which it's amazing because like he's an amazing player right 
and we I think we we took Lex less away from that because he's amazing. He like he's insane, and we didn't we didn't need like another brain in the game. Well, with me and and Kawan, we just can already like deal with most situations, you know. So yeah, I think that that covers it. You know, with the team finally getting their first win in stage one against a team such as Sentinels, and and how how far or close do you think the team currently is right now in in terms of level? You know, uh, uh, um, uh, like a collective as a collective as a team compared to the rest of the best teams so far in in, in Americas. You know, uh, from the start of stage one up until now. Like, where do you see the, the level now? Do you see them as below? At or kind of now a little bit above. I think right now we are in the middle. To be honest, uh, we have a lot of things to to fix. We have a lot of things to to have some conversations about. Uh, but yeah, I think we are kind of in the middle. Like we, we we're we're still gonna have to keep practicing. You know, compete. Uh, the, com the the teams right now are super good. Like you see Leviathan coming from the kickoffs going super bad, and now they're just banking everyone. You see uh, NRG coming back better you see like you see like all these teams cloud nine even just getting better and better and better and people teams that don't evolve are are hard you know like it's it's, it's super hard super difficult i'm gonna ask one more question before i wrap it up here i mean uh the team currently sits with the record of let me check let me check let me check let me check one in three uh you know going off of that win against sentinel side and in a group such as omega you know the fight is still on for you guys to to qualify for playoffs and then also hopefully uh uh qualify for for master shanghai but still um what are your uh, are your thoughts and just expectations for you know this team should you guys make it to to playoffs or if not you know where do you think your headspace is that you know for for the future in stage one and then getting into stage two mm. so i think right now this gave us a boost of confidence for sure this this victory uh which is like keep doing the same thing like keep trying keep playing and playing and playing and non-stop you know and everything is gonna like just work i hope uh if we don't make it sorry if we don't make it to playoff we're just gonna have to keep practicing you know we have we still have the champs qualifiers we have a lot of valorant ahead of us so we just can't give up you know and if we don't win this this next match it's, it's all okay we have to keep practicing grinding the game and just adapting and knowing what where, where are we good and where are we wrong all right then i uh, really appreciate you taking the time sadak and just sitting down with me for an interview i uh, really appreciate it uh congrats on the win once again and yeah best of luck goes to, to to the rest of the lab but most importantly for for you for the future man thank you <laughs>